Hello Geminis! So this is the bi-weekly readings that I'm going to be doing still. Um, I'm going to keep the original spread. I'm still going to be doing the weeklies as well, okay? So let's start. Okay, universe, give me a four-card spread. What's going on with Gemini's love life for January 15 to 31st, 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. What's going on with Gemini's love life for January the 15th to 31st okay so oh okay i like the energy there is a little bit a side message but i like majority of the energy so i got this could be the one chemistry wedding trust and pay attention to red flags so i feel like you are dealing with somebody who wants to be committed to you um, they want you to trust them. You guys have a great chemistry. You have a lot of fun together, okay? Gemini's like fun energy. This person, you feel like you could, this person could be your partner, your partner, how can I say? Your, your criminal, your, your crime and partner, okay? I'm Haitian, so please <laughs> bear with me. So, um, this person feel like you could be their partner in crime, okay? So, they definitely like who you are as an individual, okay? Um, they see that this can work, and yeah, they see that it can work, basically. Um, now, with pay attention to red flags, I feel like at the same time, they do have a side to them that you probably don't see yet, or it's coming out little by little. The more that you spending more time with them, the more that you getting acquainted and bonded with them, this energy is making, is being more apparent, Okay. So I got a lot of brown, okay? So for me, I switched the color brown with earth. So towards very Capricorn, and then I got black and white. For me, that is like opposite signs that this person could be a Sagittarius, okay? So let's see. Um, okay. So let's see this one. Unifer, it's going to be a five-card spread. What's going on with Gemini's love life for... January the 15th to the 31st, 2021. Universe, give me a five card spread. I got the six of wands. Universe, give me three more cards. So, they, this person will give you a lot of love and affection, a lot of attention. Universe, give me four more cards. What's going on with Gemini's love life for January 15th to the 31st, 2021? Universe, give me four more cards. What's going on with Gemini's? So, fine decision. It's going to be made. I'm going to see what that's about. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Gemini's love life for January the 15th to the 31st, 2021? Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Gemini's love life for January 15th to the 31st, 2021? Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Gemini's? Temperance in a verse and the three of wands in reverse okay so i feel like this person is going to make it very clear and direct that they want to be with you they're not going to keep you waiting so i feel like this is like the newer connection or if this is a connection that you've been dealing with for some time probably you waited a long time but for some reason they want to make it direct and clear that they only want to be with you okay universe give me two more cards what's going on with gemini's love life for january four swords yeah, I feel like they're offering something, but you want to kind of like see if it's the right choice for you. Universe, give me one more card. What's going on with Gemini's love life? Ooh, okay. What's going on? <laughs> Six of Wands is a good card. So I feel like this person is probably not being consistent with you. That's the issue. I'm seeing that they are trying to offer you something, but you're not trusting it. You're not trusting it because probably, yeah. So it could be a newer energy. I mean, newer person or somebody that you've been dealing with. You're not trusting of this person. And some of you guys are not communicating with them, even though they're trying to get your attention. Universe, clarify the inference and reverse. Universe, clarify the inference and reverse. The queen of swords. Yeah, this is your energy. You feel like this is somebody who's not treating you like the queen or king that you are. Okay. And you're calling them out. Universe card for the Queen of Swords. Universe card for the Queen of Swords. Universe card for the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're calling them out saying that you can do bad by your own self. You don't You don't need them, okay? You are secure of your own self. 
So this is somebody who might have a tendency of love bombing or just not being consistent. Universe, clarify the four swords. Universe, clarify the four swords. Universe, clarify the four swords. Six swords in a verse, will fortune in a verse. Yeah, they're going to come back, but I think the issue is that it's probably that's the issue. It's like on and off or inconsistent. One minute that they give me a lot of affection and attention one day and the next minute they're not. They're really busy with work or, you know, just not being attentive to you and you don't like that. You don't like the inconsistency. Universe, clarify three wands in reverse and the temperance in reverse. Universe, clarify three wands in reverse and temperance in reverse. The ten of cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys feel like you are happier when you single, when you're not in this connection, okay? Universe, clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you feel like you feel better. And you probably need to... A lot of you guys have communicated that towards them, like, where you feel happier when you're not in this connection. Universe, clarify the Two of Swords in reverse. Universe, clarify the Two of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles... The death card. Yeah, they're coming back. They're making this fine decision to offer you commitment. However, a lot of you guys don't trust it. You feel like this person is going to be inconsistent again and again. Okay. Uh, but I'm seeing they are trying to offer you commitment. Universe, clarify the Eight of Cups, the death card, Ace of Pentacles. Universe, clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they're trying to offer you commitment. They're trying to say that they're no longer entertaining other people. Universe, clarify the Six of Wands. Universe, Clarify, Six of Wands, Emperor, and Reverse. Yeah, they're trying to do right. I feel like they're trying to do right. Right now, you're not trusting them. Universe, Clarify, the Emperor, and Reverse. Because you feel like they're not going to be consistent. Universe, Clarify, the Emperor, and Reverse. Yeah, they want to work on it. Universe, Clarify, the Knight of Swords, and Reverse. Universe, Clarify, the Knight of Swords, and Reverse. Universe, Clarify, the Knight of Swords, and Reverse. Seven Swords, and Reverse. Yeah, a lot of you guys are just, <laughs> you're, you're ignoring them. Okay, you are leaving them on red. You're kind of ghosting them. You're avoiding them, okay? Universe, clarify the seven swords in reverse. Yeah, you're dropping them. I, I don't think you guys are interested in this person anymore because time and time again, you feel like this person all the time prove you wrong or prove you right depending on how you expect, like what you expect from them. A lot of you guys expect that they're going to be inconsistent. So even though right now they are offering you a solid commitment or trying to do that, a lot of you guys are not trusting of this, okay? So, I'm getting heavy Taurus. I also got Libra, um, um, Aries, um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, okay? And Virgo. Universe, give me a four-card spread. What messages do you have for Geminis for January the 15th to the 31st, 2021? I got mirror. Universe, give me three my cards. Universe, give me two my cards. What messages do you have for Gemini's? Pertain to their love life for January the 15th to the 31st, 2021. Universe, give me two my cards. What messages do you have for Gemini's? Pertain to their love life for January 15th to the 31st, 2021. Universe, give me one my cards. What messages do you have for Gemini's? girl with the snake yeah you feel like you can't trust them okay so i got empath and narcissist paradigm being a charmer use navel and boundaries yeah you can't you feel like this is a snake this is somebody that you can't trust um and it makes sense because it's mercury retrograde so definitely expect past people coming back into your life and usually when that happens, it's not usually for you to start something new with them again or renew something with them. It's usually for closure. So when a past person comes back to you during any retrograde, um, I notice with Mercury retrograde, it's more with un things left unsaid, okay? Just to get that clarity. When it's Mars retrograde, it's like whenever you have the most passion or resentment, that person that you have the most passion resentment come during that phase and then again it's not for you to start anything it's more to for you to get that closure and move on okay so with retrogrades either venus mars mercury is usually to find a resolution and clear that karma that you guys have okay so and then a lot of you guys are going to get affected by this because it's first in the air and then it's also in you guys will mercury okay 
So mirroring each other, self-image relationship reflects our moon and introspection, okay? I feel like this person did taught you valuable lesson because you guys was mirroring each other. You guys were a reflection of each other. Um, now they do want to start, they want to offer a commitment to you. Some of you guys are going to get proposed by this person. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. And then I got abundance, okay? Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, and gratitude and bliss. So I was, it's kind of hard, because I feel like this is somebody that you love, but this is somebody who you can't trust. And I feel like they are going to give you something big. Um, it could be a proposal. It could just making that final decision to commit to you. But I guess with if you have this trust issues, communicating that towards them and take it day by day, okay? Take it day by day and be patient, okay? Don't be completely vulnerable with this person, but don't be completely closed off if you feel like there's love there still, okay? Now, if you feel like there's no love, then you know what it is. Let the situation go. Now, I got hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah, this person want to work on it, Okay. Universe, give me a three cards, bud. What messages do you have for Gemini's? Universe, what's going on with Gemini's love life for January 15th to the 31st, 2021? Universe, give me two more cards. They want you to believe in this connection, Gemini, okay? So I got hope. They want you to believe in them. I got crown chakra. They feel like you are the person for them. Probably the intuition is trying to tell them that you are their person. They probably had dreams confirming that you are their person. Okay. And, you know, when you guys was in separation, they really feel hurt by it, even though they may cause BS. But they want to bring harmony and balance into this connection. They want this connection to continue to move forward because they feel like it can be successful. They feel like it can work, okay? So they want you to believe and love and believe in them. Universal messages you have for Gemini's. All right, so universal messages you have for Gemini's pertaining to their love life for January 15th to the 31st, 2021. Universe, give me one more card. Got a lot of purple. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a lot of intuitive download through dreams, um, synchronicities, deja vu, okay? Messages, people wanting to give you a message or random people that you never talked to. Just through passing, they want to send, they want to give you some wisdom, okay? So the universe is definitely going to be speaking to you for the last two weeks, okay, of January. So I got full moon and eclipse conclusion that within reach, okay? So probably something happened during the eclipse season in December, so probably there was a, a separation. Hold your vision, fixed moon. And then I also got wax moon, the energy is gaining momentum, and then I also got you and Scorpio work through your fears. They want you to trust them. They don't want you to be fearful that they're going to hurt you again. Um, and they want you to continue to believe that you guys can be together with hold your vision and the energy is gaining momentum. I feel like they do want to offer you something more serious this time. Okay. But it's like a lot of you guys feel like they will prove you wrong. So that's why I mentioned like to take it day by day. Um, be patient. Don't be too caught up emotionally. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Gemini's pertaining to their love life? For January 15 to the 31st, 2021, universe, give me two more cards. Yep, so the universe wants you to remain positive, okay? Remain positive, period, okay, in your love life and life. The, the universe will want you to look at the pros and cons, and they, they want you to be more open, okay? But not being stupid. Be open, but not dumb, okay? I do see big happy changes. I feel like this person is probably going to propose, or they're going to really offer something much better this time, being serious. 
but a lot of you guys feel like you need to take time for yourself okay and you feel like you need to do that right away and again i feel like just having proper communication with your person i feel like they will understand because right now what i'm sensing is that they want to make things much better okay um and i feel like they will listen they will compromise okay so that's the reading that i got for you gemini's thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenpintero at gmail.com